Listen, trading is hard. Trading is really hard. There's literally a statistic that says 95% of traders fail. Trading is apparently made for you to fail. Honestly, you'll probably fail trading too. It probably won't work out for you. I'm, I'm being very honest. Hello, my name is Kelly OG and I teach people how to make money for a living, which is kind of odd because I just said that you would fail. I'm 21 years old and trading literally changed my life. I saw a lot of success in trading. I started a business off of trading and that saw a lot of success too. And ultimately I became a multimillionaire by the age of 19. The reason that I say that trading is not going to work for you is because a lot of people come into trading with an expectation and that's the number one thing that messes people up it's not technical analysis it's not being lazy it's having an expectation you come in and because you saw him 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 making five thousand dollars a month i have to make five thousand dollars a month you haven't even started learning you haven't been through the ups and downs nothing is as simple as i'm going to start it today and see success tomorrow when you give yourself an expectation you strip yourself of the ability to learn you strip yourself of the ability to make mistakes you strip your Yourself of the ability to just be a normal human being. Notice how every successful trader will tell you it took them five, six, seven years. Some it took three, four, five, some it took two, but it took at least a year for them to see really great success. Even me, my first year trading, I saw a lot of success. I saw a ton of ups and downs and it was very rocky. My second year, still very rocky. It was very successful and then in and out and in and out. I had to take a break from trading because I wanted to focus on the business and it threw off my entire journey. See, the number one thing people struggle with is expectation but then too they're not consistent so you trade for two weeks and then you take a break for two months and then you come back for a week and then you take a break for three months think trading will ever work it won't 95 percent of traders fail because 95 percent of traders never actually try there's a system it's a very systematic approach that you have to take to it and that depends on what your strategy is what works for you everyone's different there's no perfect strategy that works for every single person people don't even give it a year of consistency they give it a year of here and there a year of trading groups and copy pasting trades and it's not gonna work you have to be willing to commit trading is not for everybody i make money off trading i make money when people decide they want to start trading but the thing is if you're looking long term you cannot join any group with the expectation that you're going to make a ton of money get rid of it you may but once you have that expectation you've sold yourself short you won't even give yourself time to learn because then you'll see everybody winning like i want to start winning tomorrow if you want to really win trading you have to take away every expectation take away every goal that you have because if you don't get rid of it all you're doing is getting ready to end yourself up in disappointment i know there are a lot of people that have told you i started trading and i lost money but ask them how long did they learn and how long did they do it because i have so many trader friends and we're all consistently laughing because we're like oh how much you make today a thousand five thousand ten thousand it absolutely can lose you a lot of money but the potential to make tens of thousands of dollars in a couple minutes is not seen anywhere else mind you you don't have to market to anybody you don't have to wake up and run ads you don't have to start any type of store you don't have to start any type of business it's you and your skill put to the test trading will teach you a lot about your mental capacity your mental ability are you able to withstand hard days are you able to see through something you truly believe in even when everything is saying no and I always tell people listen I made a lot of money trading but I made a lot more money from a business I can control how much money I make in the market I cannot control how many people join my business. When you see my success, know that it is more than just trading, but trading is what sparked it. Trading is what started it. If I never saw success trading, I would never be where I am today, but I still haven't given up. And I've had extremely hard days. I was put in a position, I had to learn how to trade in front of the entire world. Because just a month after I started trading, I posted a TikTok video, it went viral and everyone wanted to learn from me. So I had to fast track my learning. I had no expectation that it had to work. I said, it's gonna work one day and I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep helping people and I'm gonna put other people in positions to power that can help me be able to guide people, people that actually know. But you have to know your limitations without setting expectations. My limitation, I couldn't teach everybody how to chart because I didn't know how to chart. I said, well, I'm going to take this day by day because one day it's going to work out. A lot of people have the mindset that by the end of tomorrow, it's done. You say, well, guess what? I may not be here tomorrow, but what if you are? And the next year they say, new year, new me. There's not a new you, but the true you is the same person that gives the same excuse every single day. It doesn't have to be trading. I make it very clear. Trading may not be for for you. But if you want it to be for you, you have to commit to it. If you want running a successful business to be for you, you have to commit to it. If you want a promotion to be for you, you have to commit to showing up every single day, putting in your all, even when all the odds are stacked against you, even when it doesn't look like it's possible, and even when you don't want to believe in yourself. You have to have the crazy faith, the delusional faith. Faith is seeing, believing without knowing what's coming. Believing in the unknown, that's what faith is. And if you do not have that, it's not going to work. Trading won't work. Nothing will work.
for. Start your journey today to become a part of the 1% that's still working, to see their dreams, achieve their dreams, because 99% of people do the exact same things. We're not special. We all experience the same things in life. We go through heartbreak, we go through depression, we experience death, we experience happiness, but there's a 1% that does something different. When you were sad, depressed, and heartbroken, there are millionaires that make songs. They make songs about how you're heartbroken and how you're depressed, and you go and you listen to those songs, and oh my gosh, you make them so rich. So what can you do to put yourself in a better position than you are today? Because 99% of people are gonna say, I'm gonna start trading, and they won't start. If your motivation is the money, remove it. Remove all expectations. That is the one thing holding you back. I don't care how long it takes me, but it's gonna work. I'm being very serious when I say this, because it's what changed my life. I'm not going after the money anymore. Let me seek the education. Because clearly when I try to rush it, it never works. What rushed project has ever worked? You wouldn't like it if somebody rushed the production of your car, rushed the production of your house, rushed the production of anything, because then you'd say, that wasn't done well. So if you want it to be done well, it cannot be rushed. I am going to say a prayer. I say a prayer at the end of every single one of my videos. God told me to never leave him. I'll never leave him. I'll never abandon him. It's just who I am. And so I want to pray for you. Allow the prayers to sit over you. God, I ask that today as I'm speaking to whoever it is that is listening to this video, God, I ask that you allow you to speak through me at this very moment, oh Lord, that whatever I say that it shall apply to their lives, the success shall be a part of their lives, oh Lord. The success in every single area, emotionally, financially, spiritually, physically, that they will see success. Lord, that the relationships that they have will be successful. That where they are struggling, Lord, that it is not you holding them down, but it is you pulling them back like a slingshot, saying, get ready, I'm gonna have one more setback before a major propeller, oh Lord, that you are pushing them, pulling them to greater heights, to greater success. God, thank you for allowing me to be a vessel of yours, allowing me to be there to inspire and motivate, allow them to stay dedicated in each and every single thing that they do, allow them not to give up, and allow them not to believe that it is in their hands. So God, I ask that you allow them to just seek the blessings of the things that they want without expecting anything in return. And Lord, for you yourself said what you sow, you reap. So God, I ask that whatever they do, it shall be returned to them. But God, you also said, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things shall be given unto you. So God, I ask that anything they seek, they seek you first. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes I get really into my prayers when I'm praying for y'all all online. If you want to subscribe to me, make sure you press it right there. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, it's right here. See, I want to get up, but I'm like, do I really get up and tell you like, comment, or subscribe? Are you going to do it? No? Okay, fine. What's up, guys? It's Kelly OG here. I have a secret vlog channel. I drop random day in the lives, random stuff that I do, and random behind the scenes that I probably won't post on this channel. So if you want to follow it or subscribe to it or whatever, feel free to do so right there. And also follow me on all my social medias. I really want you to stay blessed. But if you don't want to, that's completely fine. I still wish for your success and everything. Seriously, I do. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.